Welcome to another unit in this Excel course. This time I'm going to talk about the so-called Poisson distribution. The Poisson distribution is also called the distribution of rare events. Why is this the case? Well, as compared, for example, to the normal distribution, it's a bit flatter. This means that the events in the middle, close to the mean, are a bit less pronounced less frequent. However, the events on the outside parts, so in the so-called tails, they are a bit more frequent. That's also why Poisson distributions are also referred to as fat tail distributions. So rare events are a bit more common than non-rare events. Okay, with this in mind, I can directly start with short example to show you what I'm talking about. So imagine we have a relatively rare event, like you talk about insurances and you want to have something where usually this thing only happens, let's say, twice a year. So I have my average or my expected value, let's call this here my mean, of and that happens on average twice a year. The question now, what is the probability that this actually happens three times? So I could say I have here my x where I want to know the probability that this x occurs and this should occur three times. So I'm actually looking for the probability x, large x, the random variable being equal to three if I know the mean is 2, and I know it follows a Poisson distribution. Well, if I have this, I can simply start here, type in the name Poisson, and then dot dist for distribution. And here you directly see why I wrote this in this way. I need the x, so how, many, how often this event should occur, and the mean. Then I only need to know do I work with the cumulative distribution function or the probability function? Here I have an equal to. So I'm going to use the probability function. So I put in false. So you see here in this case, on average, I get like three cases, the chance that I, uh, two cases, the chance that I get three cases is roughly 18%. Now I might be interested not only in three cases, but I might want to know what is the probability that I get less than four cases. If I have something like this, I'm going to use the same logic as before, so Poisson distribution. Then my x in this case is actually four. The mean is still two. And with cumulative, now I have lesser or equal to. Whenever I read lesser or equal to, I'm going to use the cumulative distribution function. So I put in true at this point. So that at most four, maybe this is accidents or events occur. The chance for this is roughly 95%. Well, if I have the exact opposite, if I were to have larger or equal to 4, I have to use the counter probability and go 1 minus the exact opposite, which here would be smaller, really smaller than 4. And well, really smaller than 4 this event can only occur once, twice, three times, four times, so only in integers. So the next smallest value is actually smaller or equal to three. And this I can then calculate again as before. So I go equal to one minus, that's still the one minus here in front. Then Poisson dot distribution, the x is three, the mean is still 2, and it's 
smaller, lesser or equal to. So I put a true here. So I get a probability here of roughly 14.29%. So the chance that more than four or four events occur is 14 point something percent. And well, that's already all there is to using the Poisson distribution, the distribution of rare events. I only need to know my mean of how often this event occurs, how seldom this event occurs, and I need to know the amount I'm actually looking for. You can do this with values larger or values smaller than the mean. Well, that's all there is to this, so I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to see more, feel free to visit the rest of the course or have a look at the corresponding playlist. I say goodbye and see you next time.